जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उज्जल जल धितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे I request all to rise for the institute prayer. Yam Shiva Yes, 
Central University of Haryana, Professor Dr. Tankeshwar Kumar, guest of honors, Professor Dr. C.P. Gupta. He is the head and dean, Department of Financial Studies, South Campus University of Delhi. Dr. Professor Padmini Padnaman, she is the former dean and professor, Department of Bioengineering and Biotechnology, BIT Masra. Dignitaries on the dais and of the dais. Guests, dear graduating students, their proud parents and friends from press and media, faculty members, officers 
and staff from the institute, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Bidla Institute of Technology, Masra, Noida campus, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome you in this occasion of 32nd convocation of BIT Masra. I am grateful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor of BIT Masra for giving this responsibility to BIT Noida team. I also express our gratitude towards BIT management for their continuous support, guidance, encouragement, and motivation which drives us to achieve our goals. I congratulate 137, which I call dreamers, thinkers, doers, and the future leaders. I also wish to congratulate faculty and staff for their dedication and contribution in the success journey of the students. Today is very special day for you. You have worked hard and achieved your objectives. I would also like to congratulate the parents, mentors and everyone who has directly or indirectly contributed in this process. Now I would like to present a brief report of activities for the year 2021 and 22 and the detailed report is available in the institute website. BIT Noida campus which was established in August 1997 has three departments. Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Department of Management and Department of Animation and Multimedia. This year we have started new age specialization and BIT Noida is pioneer in new courses and new programs. We started BCA in AI and machine learning and data science. BBA in digital marketing and business analytics. Some of the new initiatives which were taken during the last year were. First, we started entrepreneurship cell. We started career guidance cell also. We organizing, we started research talk series. We also started high impact guest lecture series. We have also started accreditation process for our MBA and MCA programs. We have signed a dozen of MOUs with the industries to give more exposure to the students. We also organized one industry academia meet last year in which 15 industry experts were invited and they have give the exposure to the student in the different fields. A national seminar in which more than 12 international participate uh, speakers were invited and participated and more than 200 delegates from India and CR participated. We have also uh, conducted executive management development program in business simulation, the support of international speakers. We have also celebrated research scholar day in which more than 20 scholars shared their ideas, new things, new way of, new methodology, etc. We also organize mock interview session and GD sessions for our placement preparation. We also organize many programs as per given the direction by AICT. Few of them are like Har Ghar Tiranga Yatra, Nukkad Natak, Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahalso. Guidance sessions for international students for their higher studies for UG and PG students. We also conducted Toastmaster demo. Toastmaster is an international organization, their demo meet also. Health checkup can be also organized in the support of Noida hospitals like Metro hospitals. We also, our students also got exposure to for industrial visits to Britannia Industries in Ghaziabad. Our third MBA third semester student also visited for educational tour in the Uttarakhand, Masuri and Kanaktal. We organized debate competition with the support of Indian Oil Corporation. Along with this, there is a long list of industry lectures, guest lectures, seminars, webinars, 
As our Honorable Vice Chancellor spoke speaking in the morning, we have conducted more than these <coughs> lectures. We have various clubs for holistic development of the students. Few are like this. Cultural club, entrepreneurship club, management club, IT club, photography club, etc. And they are organizing throughout the year various activities, competitions, events, etc. Few of like women's International Women's Day celebration, Matri Bhasa Divas, Jan Jatiya Gaurav Divas, Annual Day and Sports Day, etc. There are three sponsored projects, research projects currently going in the campus. Two are sponsored by ICSSR and one sponsored by Mahatma Gandhi National Commission for Rural Education and that is a part of Ministry of Education. Our faculty members registered four new patents this year and three old patents. Total we have seven patents in the, our institute of the campus. There are 25 research scholars who are doing presently PhD at Noida campus and about 60 students awarded the PhD degree from Noida. We also organized two faculty development programs by our computer science department and three by our management department. Faculty members are also regularly participating in faculty development. Last year uh, they participated uh, some FDPs organized by AICT, NCRT, ICT Academy, etc. Even our faculty members are regularly publishing in top journals, Copas, ABDC, IEEE, etc. etc. Last year they organized, they published over 12 research papers in various journals and three in conference proceedings and three in book chapters. Our student also participating in various competitions organized by different colleges and universities. Recently, our students participated in IIT Rookie Fest and they got good prizes and third prize in game competition and these students are from our BC and BSc programs. There is a long list for the various achievements, difficult to speak here. Even our placement sale is doing throughout the year. Some of the companies which I will name as our student got placed in last two years like Cognizant, Neo Technology, ICIC Bank, PCS, ICIC Prudential, Make My Trip, ICIC Securities, Access Securities, Kotak Life Insurance Company, SCL Technology, SDFC Bank, Adobe, Apollo 24 into 7, GTV, Ola, etc. These are the few names. We have a long list of the placement companies. Last year our MBA and MCA student got approximately 94% placement. This is a also achievement. Many of our alumni are working in the national level, international level as a president, vice president, general manager, etc. We believe in holistic development of students through technical skills, imparting technical skills, communication skills, interpersonal skills, critical thinking, and analytical thinking, etc. I would also like to thank all dignitaries who are present here and they all reach. I personally thanks to their they are with before time and join this program. And also thanks to all staff member guests for sparing their valuable time to grace this occasion. Finally, we bid farewell to all you for your bright future ahead and to have a successful and prosperous life. I would also advise the following. First, be honest with your life. Second, live by your values. Third, learn to smile on the time of adversity. Take responsibility of your actions whenever you are given. Live for your passion. Replace ego with the smart work. Always think good for others. Respect your time and seniors. With these words, I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors. Once again, I congratulate you on your achievements. Thank you, thank you very much. And
Thank you very much, sir, for your kind and motivating words. Professor Dr. Indrani Mana, Vice Chancellor, Billa Institute of Technology, Ms. Ranachi, is a James C. Bose Fellow of DST, a Bachelor of Engineering from Calcutta University, MTech from IIT Kanpur, and PhD from IIT Kharagpur. Our Vice Chancellor, sir, is an educationalist and a materials engineer with research areas ranging from phase transformation, nanometric metals and ceramics, physical metallurgy to surface engineering and many more. He is a recipient of several awards like World Academy of Science Prizes for Engineering Sciences, GD Birna Gold Medal, Mount Medal to name a few. He is also a member of research boards of many reputed companies like Yale, BHEL, ARCI. He has also served as Director of CSIR, CGCRI in Kolkata, Director of IIT Kanpur for five years, and is currently 14th President of IMAE since January 2021. May we have virtual address by our Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. Good afternoon. Namaskar, Johar, Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Tankeshwar Kumar, Vice Chancellor, Central University of Haryana, Honorable Guest of Honor, Professor C.P. Gupta, Professor and Dean of Finance Studies, Delhi University, Professor Padmini Padmanavan, former Dean and Professor of Bioengineering and Biotechnology, BIT Mesra, Professor S.L. Gupta, Director, Noida Extension Center of BID Mesra, faculty colleagues, staff members, scholars, students, degree recipients, and their proud parents, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, and friends. It's my proud privilege to welcome you all to this Convocation Ceremony of BIT Noida. This particular extension center of BIT Mesra Rachi is developed primarily with a slightly separate and very distinct objective of providing very special professional courses and degrees for those who are either full-time or who are already working professionals, for them, we wish to offer evening courses so that we not only create new professionals to merge in the profession, but also the ones who are already engaged in industry and various other professions, we would like to hone their skills and expertise. Our focus in BIT Noida is primarily in three different directions management, information technology, including computer science, and animation and multimedia. This center was founded in first, on 1st August 1997 with this intention that while the main campus in Mestra continues to serve in the mainstream disciplines of engineering and technology, we'd like to create a satellite center where we can cater to the needs of the industry professionals and by offering them management and uh, computer science IT related courses. And then uh, the animation and multimedia course was added subsequently. We have about uh, 34 faculty members and 27 staff members. Though the animation and multimedia was uh, founded in 2004. This possibly was the first, if not one of the first department in this particular subject discipline. And uh, this was the department which actually was a pioneering effort in this uh, Noida and uh, 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 the outer parts of uh, Delhi and Sierra region and is doing very well. What we want actually is to infuse more faculty members, in, introduce and augment the infrastructure, and improve 
the quality of education to a level where our students would be having uh, enough skill sets to compete with the rest of the world. We wish to go for NB accreditation of all our courses. We wish to get NAC accreditation conducted. We want many expert visits, many experts to visit BIT Noida, create collaborations with industries, cooperation with government agencies, and run executive training programs, including executive MTech and MBA degrees. Besides offering degree courses, we also want to create or promote innovation and entrepreneurship activities. Uh, following the Honorable Prime Minister's wish, we certainly would like to see that we not only create professionals who seek job, but we also wish to create that ambience so that our own students and faculty members can actually create opportunities of entrepreneurship. I'm proud to say that the entire culture of entrepreneurship started in this country, possibly by BIT Mestra, way back in 1974, by, by founding the first ever science and technology entrepreneurship park in the country. We wish to have a lot more research scholars than what we have today. And this is essential because we not only want to be confined only to classroom teaching, we also would like to pursue research so that the output of those research activities can actually supplement and even enrich the existing body of knowledge. In order to do all these activities and pursue our goal, I'm fully aware that we need infrastructure augmentation. Some part of it was stalled and held up uh, in the last maybe few years ago, but we have resumed activities and already completed to some extent. And hopefully by the next year, we will be ready with all the infrastructural projects that we have in our hand. Our uh, NOIDA Center conducted a national seminar on transforming business through uncertain times in the era of COVID-19, with a special focus on marketing and IT transformation. This was an, in online mode on 8th of December 2021 and was a resounding success. We organized a five days industry academia meet uh, between 5th to 11th of January 2022, again in online mode, with 21 invited speakers who are experts in their own domain, who shared their experience with more than 200 participants. PIT Noida initiated a research talk series and several uh, distinguished experts addressed these talk series in dif on different occasions. I, I may name a few of them. Dr. Suresh Kumar Garg, Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, Delhi Technological University. Dr. Najmul Huda, College of Business, Um Al Quara University, Saudi Arabia. Professor Sanjay Mittal, Vice Chancellor, Sambalpur University. Dr. Mala Sinha, Professor, Faculty of Management Studies, Delhi University, and Dr. Neeraj Kaushik, NIT Kurukshetra. BIT Noida organized more than 95 guest lectures uh, spread over various subject domains and uh, topics for the benefit of our own students and scholars. This year, BIT Noida introduced two speci new specializations, specialized courses in uh, BCA and BBA. These are towards artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the second one on data sciences, both connected with the Bachelor of Computer Applications degree. We also introduced two new subject domains, uh, namely the digital marketing and business analytics as a part of our Bachelors of Business Administration program. BIT Noida also started an innovation startup entrepreneurship cell, industry mentorship wing, and career guidance cell to groom our students, make them well equipped for the future uh, career. We celebrated the International Women's Day with a pink table talk. 
We received AICT sponsored scheme on faculty development program on design thinking, and that was organized in January 2023. That will be organized in the January 2023. Betty Noida celebrated Research Scholars Day. This was primarily meant for encouraging the scholars to uh, showcase their uh, exploits, their results, their new uh, achievements, and also interact with each other and receive uh, further new ideas for making their uh, research outputs even more effective. There are several sponsored projects now ongoing in BIT Noida campus, out of which uh, some are sponsored by ICSSR and by Mahatma Gandhi National Council for Rural Education. We have registered about seven patents in the recent past and published several important papers in uh, peer-reviewed journals and proceedings. But this is just, the, in a nutshell, some of the salient features of the progress made by BIT Noida. And I personally believe that we have a long way to go, not only because we are located in a very uh, important position in the outskirts of Delhi in Noida, but also because there is enormous demand in the neighborhood for courses related to management, information technology, animation multimedia. We are very keen to recruit high quality faculty members, improve the laboratory infrastructure, and engage more number of PhD students so that not only teaching quality improves, but also the research output is of international standard. And this all could be possible when we all work together we also would like to ensure that the number of students, the ones who are not economically very well to do, will try to extend the GPB scholarship to this uh, NOIDA campus students. Of course, a limited number purely on merit. Uh, we wish to hold many more seminars, conferences, so that uh, interactions can be much more vibrant and effective. And we all believe that knowledge always grows by interaction. So in that direction, BIT Noida would like to organize many more faculty development programs, uh, workshops, seminars, conferences, invite experts from the industry for not only short courses, but even forging with some important collaborative programs. On the whole, I believe that the best is yet to come, and we certainly will achieve it sooner than later. Thank you very much. I wish every single degree receiving student in this ceremony a very bright and a prosperous future ahead. I wish to record again my deep thanks to all the faculty members, the director of the center, and in particular, our gratitude to the chief guest, Professor Dankeshwar Kumar, and guest of honor, Professor C.P. Gupta, for gracing this convocation ceremony. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Thank you very much, sir, for your guidance and inspiring words. Under your leadership, BIT will surely touch new hearts. Now, may I request Professor Dr. Padmini Padminabhu, Professor, Department of Bioengineering and Biotechnology. Birla Institute of Technology, Mesra Rachi, to address the August audience. Dr. S.L. Gupta, director of this institute, and all revered fam uh, faculty members, a very good evening to all of you. I am very much honored this evening to present before you a brief glimpse of important activities 
of the center the last academic year. Bidha Institute of Technology, Misra, Noida campus, organized a national seminar on transforming business through uncertain times in the era of COVID-19. Very appropriate to our scenario now with a special focus on marketing and IT transformation on online mode on 8th of December 2021. The seminar had speakers from both academics and industry and was attended by more than 250 participants, both faculty, students and research scholars from the institution in Delhi and other parts of the country. The key deliberations by the speakers focused on the key areas like strategies for dealing with challenges or changes imposed by the pandemic, scope for business transformation through information technology, strategies to gauge the changing consumer behavior and demands in post-COVID times, the role played by the technology in the transformation of business during the pandemic and communication challenges faced during COVID-19 by managers and strategies to overcome them. Esteemed international speakers in this seminar were Dr. Sayendra Singh, Professor Marketing and International Business, University of Win Winnipeg, Canada. Dr. Nirpendra Singh, Professor of Marketing, Clarion University of Pennsylvania, United States. Dr. Paul, Professor, University of Puerto Rico, Dr. Chu Kong Lee, Nanyang University, Singapore, Dr. Rakesh Belver, Professor, Faculty of Business, Sahar University, Oman, and national speakers like Rishi Mohan Bhatnagar, President, Ares Communications, Mr. Sibashish Chaudhary, Director, Delivery of Cyber India. A five-day industry academics meet BIT AIM 22 was organized from 5th to 11th of January 2022 on online mode where 21 invited speakers shared their experience with the around 200 participants consisting of both faculty and students of BIT Misra Ranji and offshore campus of Noida. The meet aimed at deliberations conducted by experts from the industry. The meet intended to help the students gain an understanding of industry's expectations of young graduates and post-graduates when they enter the professional world. This meet aimed at acquainting its academicians and students with the new cutting-edge technolo cutting technologies and business ideas that have new that have now become an inalienable part of professional working environment and whose nascent or expert technology any industry or business aspirant is expected to have. Even prior to COVID pandemic, the business environment was undergoing disruptions including in inculcated by internet-based business platforms. COVID has only speeded up this transformation. The invited industry veterans gave meaningful insights as to how students and academicians to, should prepare themselves to navigate this technology and pandemic induced volatility in work, work and professional environment. Noida campus initiated a research series talk in which speakers like Dr. Suresh Kumar, uh, Suresh Kumar Gar, Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, Delhi Technological University, Dr. Koda, College of Business, Um Al Khora, University, Saudi Arabia, Professor Sanjeev Mitchell, Vice Chancellor, Sabalpur University, Dr. Mala Sinha, Professor, Faculty of Management Studies, Delhi University, and Dr. Neeraj Kaushik, NIT Guru Kshetra were invited. This year, Noida campus has introduced specializations, artificial intelligence and machine learning, and also on data science in BCA, and digital marketing and business analytics in BBA program. BIT Noida campus has started an innovation startup and entrepreneurship cell to groom students for future. 
Noida campus celebrated International Women's Day with a big pink table talk where women achievers like Dr. Aparna Sharma Ames, Dr. Namita Rajput, University of Delhi, Dr. Uh, Mrs. Jochna Mishra, Kent State University, USA, and Dr. Akansha Sood, wildlife photographer, Ms. Uh, Rathan, performing artist, and Ms. Seema Daksha, ASI Delhi Police, shares their achievements and experience. AACT has sponsored an FDP on digital thinking to be organized by BIT Noida in 9, uh, January 2023. BIT Noida celebrated Research Scholars Day in which more than 25 research scholars presented their research work and research methodology. As I leave today, this evening, a noteworthy piece of advice to the new graduates of today, just a quote from the famous philosopher Confucius, our greatest glory is not never falling, but in racing every time we fall. I hope the new graduates will take this on board and before I leave, I once again thank you all very much for your time. Central University of Haryana, Professor Dr. Patwin Padmanabha, Director Professor S. L. Professor Dr. Asha Prasad, Panathalu faculty members, staff, distinguished guests, parents, and more our most dear graduating students of batch 2022. 
am honored to be in your, in your presence this evening. I am honored as I am among those who are going to shape future, future of country, future of society. I am honored to get this rare opportunity to be in the ocean of energy which is coming from batch 2022. I am honored to be here with you today to celebrate the graduation ceremony of the batch 2022. My dear graduating students, it is customary occasion for the institute to have this kind of a convocation, but it's very, very special occasion to this batch 2022. And not only for the batch, it's a occasion of pride for the parents, for the teachers, for all of us, because you are having this special day graduating from this institute. Dear students of the batch 2022, let me at the outset congratulate all of you as you are graduating, as you are graduating today. I am told that there are some great students sitting before me and I congratulate them as well. Dear PhD students, uh, you are proud of us in academics as you are going to contribute a lot in the existing set of the knowledge and making it more and more broader and expanding its frontier. Keep this spirit of your contribution to the knowledge and live with motive throughout this with this you have to contribute, you have to contribute to the academia, you have to contribute to the knowledge and take this along. Take it out that you are going to contribute today on words, whatever area of the specialization you have. Congratulations all of you again. As I rise to speak to you, I am reminded of the famous Chinese proverb that says, Give a man the fish. You have fed him for today. Teach a man to fish. And you have fed him for a lifetime. And I'm sure this institution is not feeding you fish, not making you competent for today. It's making you how to fish and teaching you capability, teaching you the skills which you are going to use throughout your life. And that's what, you know, the institute is contributing. It's not, you know, giving you a fish, it's teaching you how to catch a fish. This is something that will go along with you throughout your life. As a student of Patch 2022, you have been taught and, in fact, your capabilities are developed to face and confront complex and difficult situations of the corporate world which are going to, which you will be joining <coughs> soon. Friends, one important phase of your life, having no tension, no responsibility, <coughs> no boss, no rigidity of rules and regulations, that phase is going to be over. But the next phase which you are going to have in the future, that will be totally <coughs> different phase. A phase you know, which is uh, full of challenges, full of complexities, full of competition, full of technology, full of opportunity as, a, as well. You will have threats, you will have you know, problems, but don't forget, you will have a lot of opportunities as well. I believe strongly that you people have been prepared to be these. You are capable of taking on challenges of the corporate world which you are going to join soon and you are also going to, uh, you know, going to take the advantages of the opportunities which are going to you in future. My wishes are with you for the second phase of life. Do well and God bless all of you with your successful capital endeavors which you are going to have in future. Thank you.
now we have gone through technical education, running a large number of technical courses which are essential to develop one's capability to face challenges of the corporate. But what is needed is some thrust to shape your future journey. Don't forget, the beginning of your own life is not in your hands. But what is in your hand is in. So, how you are starting, forget about it. But where you have to reach, that should be there in your mind. And uh, for that, uh, let me talk some few mantras. And Professor Esel Gupta has already said something about them. But I, I will be reiterating some of them again so that they get registered in your mind. And please take them away. Take them along with you once you go out or outside this auditorium. First, life is a name of learning. That's for you people also as well. The day you stop learning, that will be the day you stop winning. Never stop learning. That's very, very important. I mean, even for us at this stage, this age, we have to keep learning. The day I stop learning, that will be the day I am nowhere. Please remember that those who keep learning are the person who keep rising in life. So friends, graduation is not a end to learning, but it motivates all of us. It prepares our skills for learning more and more for our future. Never stop it. This is one mantra I want to share with you. Second, friends, uh, please do remember that there is no substitute for hard work. Please understand that's very, very important. No substitute for hard work. No shortcut. If you look at the life of the successful people around, you will find throughout their life they have put a lot of hard work, a lot of efforts at the back of their journey. <coughs> They are not becoming successful just by wishing and dreaming. They really put you know, their heart, their heart work into it. Please understand there is no shortcut in life. If somebody is indulging into shortcuts, ultimately that person faces pain. Remember that life is not like an instant coffee. If you are looking forward to success in life, you need continuous hard work. And above all, you have to have patience. Third, developing is solutioning mindset. We see people who are always complaining more and more. They always come out with the problems. But that's not what they're looking for. No boss will like that you come out with the problems. They will like that you come out with the solutions. And for that, you have to develop what is called a solution in mind. Nobody likes and wants to listen to problems. Everyone looks for the solutions of the problems. Your degree of success depends on how many solutions you provide for problems. Be always in search of solutions for the problems. Please remember, if all the doors are closed, but there will be some door that is still open for you. And that is the solution which you have to look for. Believe me and have a faith in you, your solutioning mind will definitely find a door that will solve the problem. Four. Remember the words of the Steve Jobs that says, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. You are you, you have your own strength, you have your own expertise. Don't try to imitate anybody's life. Every one of you are special, different. Every one of you has strengths. And remember, you have to always play with your strengths, never on weaknesses. The world will always ask you, who are you, who are you? Therefore, if you're trying to copy someone else or act like someone you are not, it will only limit your contribution to success. Friends, live your own life. 
don't hate anybody else like me. Finally, I would like to say to Venture 2022, be your own, be honest to yourself. The world may deceive you, but uh, you should never deceive, never cheat yourself. If you are honest with yourself, you can sail through comfortably the trouble which you will find, troubles, hurdles which you will find in your life. Friends, today is the day of achievement and joy, and my heartiest congratulations for the same to all of you. But tomorrow will be the day for starting a new phase of your life, full of challenges and opportunities. For that, always remember the words of Swami Vivekananda. Arise, awake, stop not till the goal is achieved. You are the noble soul and the future has a noble destiny for you. Arise, start working, don't stop till goal is achieved. Never forget that throughout your future journey, you have to keep patience. Dear friends, to end, I wish you all the best in your lives and career. May you live so that your life matters and please make us proud of you. We can say, yes, this is the batch 22, 2022, who is giving proud and do your best, you are our ambassadors and wherever you go, you people will say, yes, this is the people who are coming from Bits Raya. Thank you very much. For five and a half years, he was first UGC Professor of Physics, Director of Abdul Salam Computer Center at Punjab University, Chandigarh. He has also served as Vice Chancellor, Additional Charge with P. Bandhu Chhotu Ram University of Science and Technology, Muthal, and Chaudhary Bansila University, Kibana. He has more than 35 years of illustrious career in research and education with more than 165 publications in Journal of Repute. He has been awarded with Golden AIM Most Dedicated Vice Chancellor Award in 2020, with the Sagar Award 2017, and Lifetime Achievement Award 2016. Respected sir, kindly share the secret of your success with us and oblige us. Thank you very much. <coughs> Chairman and member of Board of Governors, Honorable Vice Chancellor of VIT Mishra, Ranchi, Guest of Honor, Professor C.P. Gupta <coughs> Director of the Institute, Professor S.R. Gupta Ji, Dr. Padmini, Professor Asha Prasad, Dean Admission, Accreditation and Coordination, Distinguished Faculty, Graduating Students, Their Parents, Ladies and Gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to be amongst you this afternoon for the degree distribution ceremony of BIT NOIDA. I am grateful to the Honorable Vice Chancellor of BIT, Professor Indranil Manar and Professor Dr. Asar Gupta, Director BIT NOIDA campus for inviting me on this occasion. 
looking at the success of all of your achievements, it looks like with NOIDA, the campus is truly trying to fulfill the vision of getting recognized as the best institution for the advancement of for the advancement of knowledge and wisdom by rendering quality and state of the art knowledge in management and information technology. We at Inveda's mission is to develop future innovative leaders who will be capable of managing change and creativity in the competitive business world. BIT Noida aims at inculcating critical thinking, elucidate knowledge of cutting edge technologies to the students for enabling designing of solutions for corporate and social purposes. I congratulate the students of PhD, MCA, MBA, BBA, BCA and BSc in animation and multimedia programs on their accomplishment of acquiring knowledge that is resulting into awards of the degree. My appreciation is due to the great teachers who have put their hard work in not only in imparting domain knowledge but also inculcating the values that will become the guiding light in their life in the future. You joined this institute as knowledge seeker and today you are well equipped with the knowledge and skills to join the professional world. To have a successful professional life, your expertise and ethics will be very important. You would have to keep yourself updated also as the world around is very dynamic and new innovations are happening every day. Your contribution in your profession with holistic approach and social responsibility would be of great value. I hope you would be responsible citizens and asset to your organization and will take care of your parents and family with that too with utmost responsibility and devotion. I came to know that with NOIDA has introduced various new innovative courses like data analytics, marketing analytics, financial analytics and various programs on new technologies like Path, Python, Blockchain, Cyber Security, IoT, Artificial Intelligence has been introduced. As you see these new technologies are today there, but these technology may appear to be advanced technologies today, but may become obsolete in few years. But your wisdom acquired here at BIT will make you learn new future technology and unlearn the old ones, making you a global citizen. I extend my best wishes for the organization that made this institution grow for strength to strength and let the nation benefit from the commitment and skills of the student that pass out from this institution. I came to know that we ranked among the first pioneers in the rocketry science, animation and multimedia, business analytics, artificial intelligence and machine learning. An institute can grow successfully only when research and teaching go together seamlessly. One without other is complete. I once again congratulate the degree recipient and wish them success in their life. I too congratulate their parents as it is a big day for all of them. At the last, I would like to advise to young graduating students that they should never forget 
the contribution of your parents, teachers and the country in shaping your career till today, which may be, you can say 20 or 25 years of your life, you are dependent upon your parents, your teacher and the country's contribution. You should never forget it. I'll say rather, you should pay it back in their own form and in their, your own way, right? Nobody picks up anything. So the madam said that you should say that how you could achieve this. The only way I say you can achieve something, you should have a fake focus vision. You should have a focus vision, dedication. Obviously, sir has said there is nothing for comparison to the hard work and obviously these three things the focus, vision and dedication and the hard work that too one thing I will say you should be sincere and truthful you should show it right it is a sincerity because you cannot achieve everything of your own right something is given to you by others right that can only be, you can get only if you are truthful and sincere to the organization you work on. But I understand that this is not just the time that where we should look for the jobs. You are graduating today, you are getting the degree and degree is thus just not a piece of paper. You have to prove it. You have to prove it every time. Right? You know, I just recall that you know if you are not performing well, you you are asked, hey, kahan se padhe ho bhai? But if you perform well, they will ask the same question, but in different form. se padhe ho? The same question will be asked. So that means that this degree which you are getting today, it's a name written, written there. It's just like you have your name written on the degree as your father and mother's name is written. So the same way the degree from where you should be God, that will remain there for all of your life, right? So you have to see that this name with your name also rises, right? So that is a big responsibility. I said you are the master of this institution. So I just want to say that this uh, uh, we are into the era when we country wish to be the Atam Nirbhar and where we not just need the uh, students with the technology who can work in some particular a job but they should look for they can whether they can go for the entrepreneurship or not so they can uh, become a person who can give the jobs to others so i just want to say that you know this is a, a golden era for you when the country is looking for more and more entrepreneurs and uh, you can contribute into that direction so this is a golden era for all of you and because you are getting this degree in 2022 and i wish you all the success in your life and that is what the mantra I have also adopted that I should see that I am I, I should be truthful, I should be sincere, I should do the hard working. Obviously you should have a strong vision. So these words I once again thank all of you and congratulate all of you. Thank you. Jai Hind, Jai Bhai. process of conferring and awarding the degrees. May I request Professor Dr. S. L. Gupta, Director of BIT Noida Campus, to kindly present the PhD scholars eligible for the award of the degree. PhD scholars are requested to please rise. Madam, I have the honor to present before you the PhD scholars who have successfully completed the necessary academic requirements and pray that they may be awarded the degree for which they have qualified 
in person or in absentia. Thank you, ma'am. You may sit now. Uh, may I again request Professor Dr. S. L. Gupta to kindly present the students of Master of Technology, Computer Science and Engineering, Master of Computer Application, and Master of Business Administration eligible for the award of the degrees. The students of MTech, MCA and MBA are requested to please rise. Madam, I have the honor to project before you the students of Master of Technology MTech. Master of Computer Applications MCA, Master of Business Administration MBA, who have successfully completed the necessary academic requirements and pray that they may be awarded the degree for which they have qualified in person or in absentia. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the institute and its recognition of your having successfully completed the necessary academic requirements of the degree, I confer on you the degree of Master of Technology Computer Science, Master of Computer Applications and Master of Business Administration for which you have qualified and direct you to live up to its dignity and honor. You may sit. Thank you so much, ma'am. May I request again Professor Dr. S. L. Gupta <coughs> to kindly present Bachelor of Computer Application, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Bachelor of Science Animation and Multimedia students eligible for the award of the degree. The students of BCA, BBA, and BSc Animation and Multimedia are requested to please rise. Madam, I have the honor to present before you the students of BCA, BBA and BSc Animation and Multimedia who have successfully completed the necessary academic requirements and pray that they may be awarded the degree for which they have qualified in person or in absentia. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the institute and recognition of your having successfully completed the necessary academic requirements of the degree, I confer on you the degree of Bachelor of Computer Applications, Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Science, Animation and Multimedia for which you have qualified and direct you to live up to its dignity and fun. Thank you so much ma'am. Now we please sit down. So uh, now we will begin the degree awarding ceremony. So may I request now our honourable chief guest, Professor Dr. Tankeshwar Kumar, Vice Chancellor, Central University of Haryana, and Professor Dr. Padmini Padmanabhan, Professor and uh, former Dean Academics, Department of Bioengineering and Biotechnology, BIT Meswar Ranchi, to kindly present the degrees to PhD and PhD <coughs> students. So, uh, may I request the dignitaries to please come forward so that we can begin the process of degree distribution. So, we will be uh, beginning with the PhD scholars in the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering, 
प्रेरणा अग्रवाल सोनाली माथुर सोनिया सैनी फॉर द डिग्रीज ऑफ डॉक्टर ऑफ फिलोसॉफी इन मैनेजमेंट हर्ष निर्मल्या चक्रवर्ती उपासना दीवान नाउ आई कॉल अपॉन द नेम्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ मास्टर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग हर्षिका गुप्ता शुभी गर्ग आयुष मिश्रा सिद्धार्थ कुमार सिद्धार्थ कुमार सूरज सिंह टोपल Now I will be calling upon the names of Master of Computer Application, Avinash Chandra, Gauri Shankar, Harshita, Mehul Kakkar. शिवम अग्रवाल वैभव दावर नाउ आई एल बी कॉलिंग अपॉन द नेम्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ मास्टर बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आरुषि शिवा जरज गुप्ता जानवी कनिका आर्य चित चंद्रा नील अरिहन निशा अर्चना निमिषा अर्चना नितिका मिश्रा प्राची दास प्रतीक शर्मा रोहित कुमार एस ज्योतिका साक्षी समीर कुमार ये बिग राउंड ऑफ अप्लोज गाइस सत्यव्रतो भवन
शांतनु गिरधर शांतनु गिरधर वैष्णवी वंदना शर्मा Thank you so much, sir. We are honored to have you here for the PhD and PG students. Now we'll begin the degree distribution for UG students. May I call upon respected guest of honor for the day, Professor Dr. C. P. Gupta. Dean and Head of the Department of Financial Studies, Delhi University, and Professor Dr. Patrini Patnavan, Professor PIT Mista, to please come forward and distribute the degrees to the undergraduate students. I am calling upon the students from Bachelor of Computer Applications, Astha Patni, Anurag Shukla. Ayush Kumar, Ayush Kumar, Disa Gaur, Harshit Kumar, Hridaya Bhatia, Pradev Bhatia, Prashant Kumar Jha, Rishi Vashis, Shivali Karn, Sushant Sharma, Yash Bhatt, now I am calling upon the names of Bachelor of Business Administration students, Akshay Saxena, Anisha Kumari, Anirudh Shankar, Anirudh Shankar, Anubha Patel, Aryan Srivastva, Aviran Tiwari, Disha Varma, Disha Varma, Divyam Khare, Harsh Ardham Karpatni, Harsh Seth, Ishika Varma, Pooja Gupta, Pranav Vaibhav, Raj, Priya Jha, Raj, 
रोहित मोदरी सैमसन टेनियल सैमसन टेनियल संचित सक्सेना सार्थक शर्मा शिवानी शर्मा सृष्टि करना श्वेता सुमन श्वेता सुमन तान्या त्रिपाठी विकास शर्मा यश एंड यश राणा Now I'll be calling upon the stage to receive degree the students of Bachelor of Science Animation and Multimedia, Abha Mehto. Ayush Kumar Sharma. Devagna Ghosh. सुनीता चावला लोकेश सिंह लोकेश सिंह मनन जयसवाल मिन सिन्हा ऋतुराज सागर समीर यशस्वी शाश्वता दत्ता शरद मीना शुभम अग्रवाल शुभम अग्रवाल सुकृति भट्ट उदित मल्होत्रा उदित मल्होत्रा वी हैव वन मोर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम बैचलर ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन शिवानी Thank you very much, all of you. This is the time to felicitate. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I would request everyone to please maintain silence. I know everyone is excited, but please maintain silence. Thank you. So this is the time to felicitate our guests. May I request Professor Dr. Padmini Padmanabhan to please present a memento to our Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Tankeshwar Kumar, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Central University of Haryana. Please, ma'am. Please, sir. Please come forward.
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Now, I would request Professor Dr. S. L. Gupta to please present a memento to Professor Dr. C. P. Gupta, Professor Dean and Head, the Financial Studies Department, University of Delhi. Please, sir. Professor, Birla Institute of Technology, Noida campus, to kindly present a memento to respected Professor Dr. Padmini Padmanabhan, former Dean, Academics, BIT Mesra Ranchi, and Professor, Department of Biotechnology and Bioengineering. Please, ma'am. On behalf of the Rural Institute of Technology, Noida campus, first and foremost, I would like to thank Honorable Chief Guest, Professor Dr. Tankeshwar Kumar, Vice Chancellor, Central University of Haryana, for accepting to be here and enlightening us with his words of wisdom. I extend my gratitude to Honorable Guest of Honor, Professor Dr. C.P. Gupta, Dean and Head, Department of Financial Studies, the University, for making the future leaders realize their responsibilities. We are also thankful to respected Professor Dr. Indranil Manna sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Birla Institute of Technology, Mesra Ranchi, for his inspiring leadership and valuable guidance for the ceremony at each and every step. My sincere thanks to respected Professor Dr. Padmini Padmanabhan, Professor, Department of Bioengineering and Biotechnology, Birla Institute of Technology, Mesra Ranchi, for presiding over the ceremony and blessing the students. I would like to say a few lines for all the dignitaries on the dais. Shraddha Seva Satkarmo Se Insan Bana Karte Hain. Shraddha Seva Satkarmo Se Insan Bana Karte Hain. Bhavna Neh Aur Nishtha Se Iman Bana Karte Hain. Sadhana Sadh Ban Jati Hain Nishkaam Karmo Se. Shilpi Ke Shram Se Pathar Bhi Bhagwan Bana Karte Hain. I would like to thank all the dignitaries, distinguished guests, parents, faculty and staff, alumni, press and media friends, student volunteers and graduating students for joining us in this joyous occasion. Thank you very much. I would uh, now request Honorable Chief Guest to declare the closing of the degree distribution ceremony. the ceremony closed. Now, I would, I would request everyone to please uh, stand for national anthem. Gujarat, Maratha, Dravidam. 